Hello everyone. In this question, we have to find the Norton's equivalent of this uh, uh, portion which is given inside the box. Okay. Uh, so here, see, you have one uh, independent source that is nine volt voltage source. Then you have three ohm resistor here, six ohm. Then you have a load resistor. So these are the mark determinants A, B. Okay. So you know how to find the Norton's equivalent. So to find the Norton's resistance, you have three cases. That is, first case is when you have only independent sources. Second case is when Where you have both independent and dependent sources, and the third will be where you have only dependent sources. Okay, so this is the first case where it involves only independent sources. So nine volt voltage source. This is an independent voltage source. So you know how to find the R N now. In this case, you have to deactivate the sources. That means you have to short this nine volt voltage source. Okay, so that time you will be get. Uh, getting 3 ohm and uh, which is in parallel with the 6 ohm these are the marked terminals a and b here you are going to find rn okay you are going to find the rn which is nothing but the norton's resistance so you know 3 ohm parallel to 6 ohm that will give you 2 ohms so rn will be equal to 2 ohms so after finding the norton's resistance you will be finding the norton's current that is in so norton's current is nothing but this is also called as a short circuit current that means when the marked terminals a and b when they are shorted you have to find the current which is passing through that shorted path now so here what I, what i will do is i will short this path i will bring back all the sources to that position so 9 volt uh, source uh, source it will be brought to its respective position this is 3 ohm this is 6 ohm and here we have the terminals a and b here i'm going to short this terminals now i have to find this norton's current okay so here what happens i can uh, find it using this source transformation also see here i will what i will do is i will apply the source transformation to this that means this voltage source will be converted to current source so current value will be see this is internally towards the positive terminal see the arrow is pointing towards the positive terminal 9 divided by 3 is 3 ampere and here we will be having 3 ohm which is in parallel because in source transformation the value of the resistance does not change so 3 ohm and 6 ohm it will be parallel that is 2 ohms now we have the shorted path okay see you have a resistance which is in parallel with the shorted branch that means this portion will be redundant now so there is no use of that all the current it flows through the shorted path that means 3 ampere is current uh, current flowing from a to b so now we can write the norton's equivalent of this okay the current will be entering in this direction so here i am taking the norton's current that is 3 ampere which is in parallel with the norton's resistance that is 2 ohm and here the terminals a and b where the load resistor is connected okay so this is the norton's equivalent now if you are not comfortable in finding the shorted uh, shorted current okay then what you can do if but if you are uh, very convenient in finding the thevenin's voltage okay so in that case what you can do is you can find the open circuit voltage that is across the terminals a and b open circuit voltage that means here there is 9 volt this is 3 ohms this is 6 ohms okay this is 9 volts here i am making this terminals open and here i am me measuring vth or voc open circuit voltage so what is this voltage across 6 ohm we can apply the voltage divider rule in this case so 6 into 9 divided by 3 plus 6 that is 9 so that is 6 volts so this is 6 volt so what is the thevenin's equivalent this is 6 volts 2 ohms will be in series and here you have rl okay now this can be converted to current source right so here 6 divided by 2 is 3 ampere internally the arrow will be pointing towards the positive terminal and here this comes in parallel and this is rl so this is using the thevenin's okay this is using the thevenin's theorem here this is directly using the norton's theorem where we are going to short the terminals ab and find the norton's current okay so this is all about the problem 9. 12